Most of us only see our doctor when we're sick, but it's just as important to see your doctor when you're well. Joining us now is Dr. Lauren James, family practitioner with Bon Secours Portsmouth Medical Associates. She's here to tell us how seeing your physician on a regular basis can benefit your overall health and wealth. Hey, so listen, um, Lauren, welcome to the Hampton Road Show. I have a confession to make. I did have a routine physical uh, two weeks ago, but it was the first one in two years. Is that bad? Well, typically, we prefer if you come every year so we can detect things early. But it's really based on your age and your risk factors and family history. For example, someone with chronic medical problems such as hypertension, diabetes, and cholesterol issues most likely needs to come about every six months to a year to be evaluated and make sure we're not missing anything new. And when you do come in on a regular basis, uh, how can you prevent uh, staving off some things that you might be concerned about? Um, other things are um, getting early cancer screenings, for example, breast exams, not in your case, but prostate exams right. in males um, after a certain age, and um, additionally, just looking at um, your vitals and your body weight. So how often should somebody see their family physician? I would recommend yearly, but once again, that's based on your age and your risk factors. It's a mm -hmm. little bit different for everyone. We were talking the importance of uh, just getting the simple blood test. What can that tell you, and, and how can you look at it from one year to the next uh, being a doctor? Blood tests um, in general, looking at your blood sugar. Mm -hmm. If it's elevated, that might be an early sign of diabetes. Um, kidney function, if that's elevated, early um, sign of um, kidney failure. And then another one, screening test in men is prostate-specific antigen. That can be um, related to problems with prostate cancer, too. So just kind of trending that and following up on that helps us know things a lot earlier. I can imagine there are a lot of people out there who do not take care of their health and do not get preventive care. Uh, what are some of the things that someone can uh, expect if they do go for a preventive care visit? Well, what you can expect is um, getting your blood pressure taken, depression screen done, vision, and also body mass index. And what that does is it looks at your height versus your weight and kind of tells you what category you're in, overweight, obese, or normal weight. So then we can develop a plan. And then based on your age, cancer screenings, um, breast exam and prostate exam, and then some basic blood work usually. How important is it for a person going into the uh, exam Come in with a list of questions, any concerns at all. Why, how important is that? It's very important mm -hmm. and um, to know your family history mm -hmm. and risk factors, things you might have seen change in your life. For example, if you can't exercise the way you used to or if you're having swelling and things like that, just gives the doctor some clues on things to follow up on um, and just so we can best help you and come up with a good plan. How often do people come in feeling perfect and healthy and feel good, how often do you guys detect something that might be of question for that's the patient? A good, that's a really good question yeah. because a lot of things are silent killers. Mm -hmm. For example, hy hypertension. A lot right. of times you don't feel bad when your blood pressure is high or your cholesterol is high, but these are things that can cause stroke. And a lot of times we think we're healthier than we are, so that's why preventative care visits are important because a lot of things we can't feel that they're a problem, but then we see that they are once you come in. Talking about preventive care, what can people do at home to maybe make themselves healthier? I guess oh. it's pretty obvious. This is my favorite. Yeah. I like to say your health is your wealth. Right. By working early on it with a um, nutritious diet, for example, lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, low salt, low fat diet, exercising two hours of moderate exercise a week, um, getting eight hours of sleep a night and no smoking can really prevent these chronic diseases and help you overall strengthen your body and keep your mental health. See your family practitioner at least once uh, uh, a year. Does it matter at what age? Um, it doesn't matter mm. at what age, but typically as we get older, things we need to look out for. So, for example, um, um, from birth to six, you're usually getting vaccinations and things like that. And then as you get older, we're looking for cancer and chronic diseases. So I would say yearly, regardless of your age. Dr. James, you are local, uh, Portsmouth native, went to Norcom High School. Where did you study medicine? Morehouse School of Medicine in Atlanta, Georgia. And then um, I did my residency with Portsmouth Family Medicine with Eastern Virginia Medical School locally. 
any more advice anyone out there uh, might be a little unsure about seeing their family physician? Um, I would just say family medicine doctors, we're here for you to support you and don't worry about the cost. A lot of these things are covered by your insurance right. and just come in and give us a hi. Your health is your wealth. Lauren James, MD at Bon Secours, Portsmouth Medical Associates. To make an appointment, call 215-APPT or log on to goodhelpdocs.com. Dr. James, thank you so much. Great advice. Thank you so much.